we're at the uh the lot the driver's lounge um i got an issue with my trailer so uh i came back up here and um i've actually decided to buy a brand new trailer and tomorrow we're gonna go get it Good morning. We're uh, we're about 30 miles north of Tampa on I-75. We're at a uh, rest area. There's traffic going southbound. Uh, we spent the night here. We're gonna go deliver. We got about 25 minutes to go down to deliver. The uh, little generator's leaking oil again. I've uh, I've already ordered the seal so it's the same seal on the front that i got to replace um and like i said before when i before i tarped this i knew this tarp our load was kind of a tarp shredder and it's managed to do a pretty good job at it let's cut it there and uh it might be time to uh get some newer tarps go oh. over here it's kind of noisy out here, but but those are all my repair jobs that are slowly coming apart. It <laughs> just didn't hold up. So anyway, all right, it's getting noisy out here. Let's get going. All right, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go. Uh, Google Maps says we got 42 miles to get there. Sure, I'm logged in to my log book. Start the week off here. So, somebody, uh, we're going to Clearwater, Florida. Somebody requested to get some footage over the bridges, the bridges over to Clearwater. I don't know if I've been to Clearwater Waiting before or not. Merge onto I-75 South. I don't know if I've been to Clearwater or not, so uh, we'll see if we can get some footage. I looked on the map, but I think I know where they're talking about. So maybe we'll get some footage going over those bridges. As long as everything works camera-wise, sometimes I start filming and uh, things don't go quite as planned sometimes. To where we're supposed to be. Oh, I hope I'm doing this right.
Hey, this is Daniel Watson, driver with Mercer Transportation. I'm uh, sitting here, I don't know if I'm at the right gate or not, but I pulled in a gate here. I'm sitting here in front of the facility, the EPS facility. Yes. Uh, no, I'm sitting right out in front of the gate, like the first gate where the little trucks are at. Okay, just come. Okay, the, and it, it looks like I'm going the wrong way. Is that right? Okay, okay. all right, all right. Because <laughs> there's already one UPS driver shook their head when I was sitting here. So, all right, I'm going to come. I'm, okay, where, how, 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 how far down do I need to go? I, I, to the dirt? Okay, all right. Yeah, I see, I see like a, some green equipment down there. So, that's, uh, all right, all right, sir. All right, I'll get down there. Thank you. All right, bye. Okay, thank you. Tuesday the 21st we delivered down in uh, Florida yesterday we we're back up here in uh, Mercer Louisville Kentucky we're at the uh, the lot the driver's lounge um, I got an issue with my trailer so uh, I came back up here and um, I've actually decided to buy a brand new trailer and tomorrow we're gonna go get it but uh, let's go outside. It's a little noisy outside. I'll show you what happened to this trailer. I am going to get it fixed, but um, I, don't, I just got tired of messing with this trailer. We ended up deadheading all the way back up from uh, down by Tampa, back up here to uh, to Louisville. And uh, let's go outside, then we'll come back in and talk about the trailer. So we're out here. You can see the driver's lot here. We're parked and we're plugged in. I got my new uh, power cord there plugged into the air conditioner so my issue is I think they call this the top plate this plate right here this is where the kingpin sits down and hooks to the fifth wheel and what uh, what I noticed was the problem if you see that gap right there that gap wasn't there and uh, one day I was walking around and I saw that gap and I started to investigate to figure out what was going on so what is happening is this plate right here is starting to cave in like this and you can see because if you look straight on you can see how it's not uh, it's not straight across you should be able to see straight across the top of the uh, fifth wheel but uh, it's starting to cave in and uh, it's not an easy fix and then if you look all up up in here I got the flashlight and I was looking all in there a lot of that's rusted out Matter of fact, if you look closely right there, you can kind of see how that plate is sitting a little curved like that. Over here, take a look. Oh. Yeah, so, that was my concern. So that's why I did not reload the trailer coming out of Florida. But that's the problem. So, to fix that, they got to call it hole in the deck, the top of the deck. They got to unweld that plate and everything else it's a big job 
So uh, I'm going to get it fixed, but I'm also going to buy me a new trailer. Let's get back inside. All right, we're back up in the truck here. I got the other camera on. Hopefully it's a little quiet. Now I got to make this quick because I got the air conditioner off and it's it's getting it's starting to get hot in here. So uh, I shopped around. Originally I was going to buy a used trailer. And the one I wanted, I wanted a used trailer like only a couple years old. Um, the one I wanted, I found, uh, the guy said that they had already sold it. But he said, I got a brand new trailer for not much more than what the cost of the used trailer was. So he was talking about it. And I looked at it. I, used, uh, I look on the truck paper. Um, for you guys that like to look at trucks and trailers and everything, it's pretty cool. Get on there, you can see everything. Um, so he has a brand new Dorsey, which you don't hear a lot about all aluminum trailers. Let me back up a little bit. So what I wanted, a trailer, I had a little list of things. I want an aluminum trailer. I want a lift axle. I want the J-Tracks, the J-Hooks to hook onto the side. Um, I want the uh, winch tracks on both sides of the trailer and two toolboxes. And what else was on my list? Oh, and a dump valve on the trailer. So, uh, but a handful of things that I wanted. And uh, he had a brand new Dorsey, all aluminum trailer. And you don't hear much about Dorsey aluminum. They only started making them a few years ago. Um, and it had everything I wanted on it. And uh, so it's got all the, uh, the lift axle and everything else. Everything I just listed, it's got. Plus, on top of that, it's got galvanized suspension. So any of the metal that's on their suspension components are galvanized, so I don't have to worry about rust anymore. Um, and so out the door price was um, a little over 38,000. Uh, so the trailer itself was about uh, 30, 36, five, including the EFT tax, which is the uh, FET tax, federal excise tax. Uh, and that's one thing if you're trailer shopping and you see the price listed you got to see if it that FET tax is included So uh, out the door price about a little, little over 30 38,000 which uh, In my opinion is pretty good for for brand new 2020 trailer so I'm gonna uh, take this trailer over tomorrow and um, Have it estimate on what it's gonna cost to repair and uh, determine it uh, if I'm going to fix it now or wait to get it fixed. Um, if I fix it, then I'll sell it, do something, or take it home, keep it, uh, put it next to the old Peterbilt. Uh, but uh, tomorrow we're going to go, after I finish around here, uh, we're going to bobtail over. I bought it in Springfield, Illinois. I bought it at, if you go want to go look at their website, and they're not paying me or anything for this, uh, Aero Trailer Equipment aero trailer and equipment in uh, Springfield Illinois so um, if you want to go to their website check it out but uh, that's where I bought it um, so I'm gonna go pick it up hopefully I'm gonna drive over there tomorrow you know it takes a while for paperwork to get processed and everything so hopefully after everybody gets all their stuff together it will be Thursday Friday come back over here now I still have to get my truck inspected my tractor inspected and even though it's a new trailer I think I got to take that through inspection also and get all that so then hopefully next week we can go back to work so uh, this really kind of put a, uh, a damper on my plans but uh, I didn't want to go down to Florida and get it fixed because I just didn't want to stop and get it fixed anywhere and it's not gonna be cheap um, I have been told anywhere between three four thousand dollars to have all that fixed but tomorrow I'll go get an estimate and uh, get an idea and it's not a uh, one-day fix it's gonna take several days to to fix that but I am excited about getting a new trailer so if I buy a new trailer now that should be it that will be the last trailer I have for the rest of my career so uh, I'm 52 I'll be 52 this year so uh, that should last me uh, quite a while anyway so that's what's going on I know I've been talking a bit but uh, uh, not too much action-packed stuff um, Tampa went okay wasn't too bad 
Um, but anyway, that's what's going on. So, yeah, I'm a little excited to go pick up a new trailer. But, well, so anyway, I'll keep you posted, let you know what's going on.